That fall, thank gosh, I uh, have learned how to crash over the years. That came into play right there. Um, it, I got super duper lucky for what it was. As you can see, I got out of the way of the sled. The sled just missed me by inches. And uh, it still hurt really bad, don't get me wrong, but um, I got very lucky. Uh, I ended up with a broken right arm, the radius is broke, and the, the bad and complicated thing about that is I have a, a plate in the right arm from a previous injury, so the thing is the plate is bent and the break is in the middle of the plate, so I don't know how long that's going to take to heal because I've never done that before, and I have a complete fracture of the left tib and fib, so those usually take, you know, between six to eight weeks. After seeing this, you know, it just makes me think about some small things that I need to change, and um, I feel really good about, you know, hey, we put in the work, we went there, we tried it, it was damn close, and uh, it could have went either way. I feel good about that, but um, right now what I'm going to do is just heal up and kind of think of my game plan, you know, and uh, regroup a little bit, and I see a few things that I could do differently, and, you know, when you fail or you crash or whatever, if you don't take something away from that, then it was a waste of time. So I'm just going to kind of study everything and reorganize the whole, the whole game plan, the whole program, and uh, I'm probably going to game a lot for the next month and just kind of have fun. And... <laughs> Dude, what do I do? Oh, let's go. It's funky, man. Well, you gotta adjust it. Dude, what's going on? <laughs> That's about the only way we get time off is if you get hurt, which is sad, but, you know, I'm just gonna have fun and, uh, you know, get healed up, rested up, and then come back at it with, uh, you know, more steam. <laughs>